Welcome back. Gauteng Department of Social Development and Partners aim to mobilize men in the fight against gender-based violence and femicide through the One Million Men campaign. The department's acting Deputy Director General of Social Services, Bongani Ngomani, joins us now to unpack this in studio. Uh, Mr. Ngomani, thank you so much for joining us in studio this evening. Let's talk about this new project, the One Million Men petition. What's it about and how different is it from all your other initiatives? initiatives as government to try and fight the scourge of gender-based violence. Good evening to you, Masa, and to the uh, viewers at home. This campaign is different in the sense that it's, it's the first of its kind happening in South Africa. First, we sat down and we analyzed the population demographics of South Africa. And we realized that half of South African population consists of men and young boys. And we said as government, if we can get just one million of committed men to be volunteers against gender-based violence and femicide, it will impact directly. We will know as government that we've got strong one million army of men who are working tirelessly to fight gender-based violence and any of its manifestation, but also volunteers who are willing to stand up any time they are called up. For an example, if a person is a lawyer or a doctor, we expect them to use their skills in fighting gender-based violence. If he's a doctor, if there is a, someone who's a victim of gender-based violence, we expect that doctor to be called. So we will know which doctor is part of our database, is part of our volunteers. We call him or her, yeah, it's him in this case. We expect him to show up, attend to the victim, and take it further, be prepared to go to court, testify against the perpetrator. Same with lawyers. If there is someone who's violated because of their gender and they are volunteers, we expect those lawyers to take up those matters, be it a pro bono, be it a watch and brief, but to make sure that they work with the victim to ensure that the victim uh, gets justice that they deserve. So, so we don't have currently a database of South African men who are saying, I want to volunteer to fight gender-based violence. So this petition, it's not a nice to have. It's a working tool, it's a working document that will help us to trace real volunteers, real men who are standing up. We have been saying stand up fight gender-based violence, but we didn't know really who has decided to stand up. Now we'll have that database. Now we'll know who to talk to. So these army of men, as you refer to them, would they necessarily have to be men who are in a particular profession? You know, mm. you made mention of lawyers, of doctors, mm. who are able to then help victims of gender-based mm. violence, or can it be an ordinary Joe who mm. may not have a professional skill? And mm. what services would they then provide? It's for all uh, South African men. An ordinary man who's unskilled, even who's unemployed, but if he's saying, I want to stand up, sometimes we, we need hands. We, we go to courts to, to protest. We need people who will go to, to give support, emotional support to families that have been uh, violated. An ordinary man can do that. But once they become part of this uh, one million men's uh, petition campaign, we are able to capacitate them to become experts on issues of gender, mainstreaming on issues of uh, gender transformation, but also on issues of uh, transforming South African men. So it, it's, a, it's a great opportunity for uh, men to be part of this uh, one million men's petition because it will expose them it will capacitate them, but also it's a platform that gives them a chance to contribute positively to the society. So that then South African women, South African young girls can know that there are still good men out there and who are practically doing something to make South Africa safe and peaceful. So as a department, I am assuming you're going to have a lot on your hands to be keeping mm. up with these million men as well and being mm. able to identify the cases that they need to be involved in. Mm. But also, I guess I'm also asking about the role that 
your department will be playing after the signatures and signing has been made, that it's not just in good faith, that administrative mm. cost of it, the logistics of it, getting mm. those men, pairing them with those cases. Mm. We've got technicians, we've got uh, experts in the field of uh, developing apps and, and programming in IT. So they are the ones who have developed this uh, system for us. They will be managing that. We've got a, a credible staff that is uh, trained by the Department of IGAV in Gauteng. They are the ones who are managing this, app, this system so that it doesn't crash to ensure that it's always safe. The data of, inf of people that is there, the information is protected. But also we work with our own social workers will be able to deploy people in accordance with the complaint that they have received. So, so it's a well thought system. We've been working on it since 2019. So that once we introduce it to public, we know that uh, it's, a, it's a real system. It's not a manga manga system. It's mm -hmm. something that can stand the volumes. It's something that can be effective and be measurable. Now, who's eligible to sign this petition? Obviously men, but yeah. what kinds of men? Is there, is there a vetting process that will go in? Or are there requirements mm -hmm. as well? Um, you know, if you have a criminal record, for mm -hmm. instance, can you sign this petition? In fact, as we were launching the petition today, we launched it in partnership with the Department of Correctional Services. Their deputy minister was part of our uh, launch. Because we are saying, even those who've got criminal records, if we've got a track record that they are re rehabilitated, they are people who are saying we've done wrong to the society, we want to contribute positively now, we should give them that opportunity to do so. But of course, we vet people because we don't want uh, pedophiles to get mm -hmm. in there, pretend as if they are assisting when they know what they are up to. So we vet them. We check if it's credible people that we can work with. If we are not uh, confident of you, we park you for a moment. We put you through our men's forum program to make sure that you are a transformed man. And Mr. Ngomani, how confident are you that you will be able to get um, mm -hmm. a million men to sign this petition? In fact, we, we were saying as a team of men's forum, this is not... A, a numbers game, you said. So, so we are not desperate to get uh, one million by end of the year or end of the month. Mm. We said it's a five-year campaign. Every year it should be 200,000. However, if it means we stretch that uh, five years maybe to another eight years or ten years, let it be so, so that we get quality of men, we get real volunteers who can add value. We don't just if we push numbers, we can end up standing in corners and say, sign, sign here, be part of the petition, mm. when people don't even understand what they are signing. So we said we want a credible people who will be prepared to go to our workshops, our sessions, to understand the, what is the campaign all about. So it's a five-year campaign. If it's lesser than that, it's well and good. If it's longer than that, it's a learning curve. We are moving forward anyway. Well, let's hope it's lesser than that. It should be lesser than that. And thank you so much for joining us this evening and for sharing your um, insights on this new campaign as mm -hmm. well. Good luck with that. Thank now, you. that was Bongani Ngomani, who is the Acting Deputy Director General of Social Services.